Welcome back designers. For those who don't know me or if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Carpenter, a web designer and illustrator. In today's video, we're going to be jumping into the realms of Minecraft again, where we'll be creating a self-portrait Minecraft character and then bringing it to life using Adobe Illustrator's Extrude tool. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Illustrator and create a new document. The document size I'm using is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I've dragged my mugshot and just placed it in the top right hand corner. For the colour swatches, I've just colour picked three different colours or three different tones of pink from the photo, and I've also just set up two primary colours which I can use for see, the glasses or any other bits of detail that I want to add to the Minecraft character. The best tool to use in my opinion to achieve that true Minecraft look and to make it easily manageable is the rectangle grid tool. So within the line segment menu if you click and hold you'll get a flyout menu which pops out and then you want to select the rectangular grid tool. Click anywhere within the artboard and then you will get the rectangular grid tool options window and the default size you want to use is 800 by 800 pixels and the horizontal and vertical dividers you want to set to 7 which will give us an 8 by 8 column grid. Once you've filled in those details press OK. Horizontally and vertically centre the grid within the artboard and then select the colour picker using the I shortcut key on the keyboard and then just select one of your skin tone colour swatches which will fill the whole grid with that colour. Now for us to create our Minecraft design we need to be able to paint or fill each one of these squares with a different colour. Now there's two ways we could do this. We could intersect the shape which will create loads of individual squares which we can click on and then add a colour swatch to or the most easiest non-destructive way would be to use the live paint tool so while the grid is selected go to object live paint and then select make which will convert our shape our grid shape into a live paint area which we can paint on with the live paint tool we can just simply click off the grid shape Select I on the keyboard to pick a colour and then to fill uh, one of the squares on the grid if you press the letter K which will bring up the live paint fill bucket we can now just fill anywhere we want using our different colours and this is basically how we're going to be creating our Minecraft portrait. So let's start painting some basic features. So I'm going to select a new colour swatch, which is the colour white. And then I'm just going to paint on the squares at the bottom for the mouth. And I'm going to go two at the side with a black dot for the eyes. Next, I'm going to use our two primary colours, the purple and the yellow for the glasses. My glasses are actually black in real life with a yellow stripe down the side, but I'm going to be using the Rich GFX colour palette today, so the purple and the yellow. And then next I'm just going to select a dark brown colour for the facial hair. So we'll use a nice dark brown and then I'm just going to start filling in the top part the hair and then do the other facial hair at the bottom. Mm, sort of looks like an older version of me with all the facial hair but we'll do. So next as it's looking quite flat what we can do is we can just colour pick one of our existing colours so I'm just going to colour pick the hair colour again and then what we can do is just create light and dark variants of that colour and then just randomly fill the squares 
just to give it that true Minecraft look. Or we'll just select an even darker brown, just add a few dark, darker points. And you want to repeat this for all the colors. So I'll color pick the purple color and then I'll just select perhaps a, a lighter version and just do some random fills on that one. And then finally I'll select the skin color tone and then color pick one of our alternative skin colors. And then you should have something which starts to resemble a, a Minecraft face. Once you're happy with the final design, the next thing we're going to do is make it 3D. So select the grid and then go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Within the Extrude and Bevel options window, you've got your X, Y and Z axis, perspective and also your extrude depth so for the XYZ we're going to use 0 16 0 and for that Minecraft look 35 for the perspective then the extrude depth we want to use between 600 and 800 then press OK and then that transforms the grid into a 3D shape. Now because we still have the grid and the live paint options within our grid, we can still update our colours. So if I colour pick the purple, press K on the keyboard for the paint bucket and then roughly select where the squares are going to be, obviously because the grid doesn't line up with the 3D version of it it does automatically update and you can also go back in there if you select the grid and go to window appearance click the 3d extrude and bevel to re-bring up the options window and then from there you can again alter the rotation and the angles of the x y and z axis you don't necessarily have to stick to the options that I mentioned in the previous step as long as the perspective is around the 35 mark which gives it that Minecraft 3D look. Now you've created your first one, perhaps have a go and create an alternative version of yourself. So this is the my second version obviously with me without my glasses on. And this type of artwork would be good for things like your YouTube thumbnails, especially if you're on YouTube creating a lot of Minecraft videos. That's it for this week folks, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.